Hello and welcome to October and my favourite things. October has been a really, really exciting month for me. I've done lots of really cool things like filming at the BBC, which you can see did a vlog that was my last video. Oh my god, it's so fun! And again, it makes me super excited for Vlogmas because I just really want to make loads of videos. I have so many ideas that I just don't know what to do with them. And thank you so much everyone for your really amazing Christmas ideas in my last favourites video. Favourite thing number one, my wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As maybe you've seen from our uh, Conkers video. Do you know if I did the sign for Conkers? <laughs> I am currently spending a bit of time in my wheelchair and using crutches. Um, because I had a little fall, I fell over a wet curb, slid down really slowly, because obviously I only fall slowly. So where most people would fall down and break a bone or something, I fall incredibly slowly, tear my muscles on the way down, but never break a bone. Yes, I, I have done something to my lower back, and the inside of my thighs, and my bum. So I've been using my wheelchair, but my wheelchair is actually an amazing thing. And lots of people kind of say to me, oh my god, I'm so sorry to see that you're in your wheelchair. I'm like, well, no, you're actually sorry that I've hurt myself. I am ridiculously happy to have my wheelchair, because a wheelchair is just an aid. It's an amazing thing that helps you get from A to B and have more freedom and the ability to actually move at the pace of a human being. Whereas normally I walk, I mean, I toddlers outpace me. Being in my wheelchair is just part of having an episodic disability. Something that means that sometimes bits of you work, sometimes they don't. I'm always disabled uh, to the same extent whether I'm standing or sitting in my wheelchair. It's just sometimes it's a bit more obvious to the outside world. And if you want to know more about my disabilities and why bits of me stop working, you can just watch my video all about it, which you can find the card up above and also down in the description. Now, favourite thing number two is actually, oh, I know I say that I'm excited about most things, to be honest, but this I am genuinely really, really happy to be able to share with you and to open. Here she is. Yes. This is Mia. Mia is ruddy amazing. She's a lotty doll. Um, if you don't know what Lottie dolls are, they are a series of dolls that are child size. They're as in proportionately, they're a child, not a Barbie doll who is the proportions of no one. They're also inspired by real children who say what they would like to see in a doll and what they would like to see their dolls doing. So Lottie dolls are all really amazing, inspiring young women who are just doing fun, creative, fabulous stuff and living their lives. And the thing that is really, really special about Mia that you won't even see anywhere on this box, which is marketed as a wildlife photographer. The blurb on the back is all about how much she loves taking her camera out and about, taking photos of birds and butterflies and creepy crawlies. And not once does it happen to mention the fact that Mia also has a cochlear implant. And she wears a hearing aid. Look, it's just a part of her. It's just a part of who she is. And that's the best way that we can help them understand that different people have different needs and there's nothing scary or weird about it. We're all different. This is just a way that she's different. And something I didn't notice until just a little bit ago. She has a little, she has a little award here. Oh, well done, Spied by Real Kids winner. Note, this ribbon. In the colours of a suffragette. Yes, if my little cousins are watching this, I think you pretty much know what you're getting for Christmas now. It's either one of these, or it's a good night stories for rebel girls. God damn it, young child. You will learn about feminism. And Mia's won a Toy Like Me award. Um, so she's celebrating the diversity in children and the diversity in toys. And I think that's fabulous. And I, as a child, would have loved a doll like this. And I'm really pleased that children nowadays can get these. I say children. <laughs> she's mine now, so. Children and people in their 20s. Favourite thing, number three. 
for slightly more adult. I am always, always searching for the perfect eyeliner. I had one that I absolutely loved that came from Boots, a chemist. It was a little brush in and it was absolutely lovely. And then they changed that into a, a felt one and I hate felt. I think felt is just the worst when it comes to liquid eyeliners. This, however, is fabulous. It's a little brush on top of the pen itself, and then it's just filled with ink, so you don't have to worry about the dipping. And then the... So far, I've had it for three weeks, doing eyeliner flicks every day, and it's doing well. It's not dried out at all, as you would really expect a product to not do after three weeks, but some of them do. But no, remarkably, it has withstood much, much use. Um, I have mine in black because nothing beats black when it comes to eyeliner for me, but they do come in some other colors. Also, one little thing, it has a sort of spring in the cap, which makes sure that the brush itself doesn't get crushed as it goes in. If it's a very hard and solid cap, it is wont to do that. So yeah, highly recommend the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Favourite thing number four. This you may or oh god, I know. Every favourite's video I get overexcited. Anyway, this you may or may not have seen, probably have seen, should have seen by now, is my beautiful new kitchen. Yes, finally, it took five weeks for it to be fully perfectly actually finished, but Oh, it was so worth it. I mean, the disruption was kind of, kind of bad, and we've realised that if we ever do work for a property ever again, we shouldn't live in the property at the same time. But look at this beauty. I am so happy that I get to cook in here now. It's really safe for me, for one thing. I mean, this cooker door, fabulous. So it just slides, hide and slide, hide and slide. Neff, you genius. Well done. Good job. It's now my favourite room in the house. Favourite thing number five. My favourite thing number five is this beautiful jacket that I'm wearing. Just stand up so you can have a look. Oh, ah. I feel like a private eye in a film noir. It's like a miniature version of a trench coat that looks perfect under a big skirt. Because it, of course, oh, you know, jackets. Jackets are hard when you have a big skirt because does it go in and then the jacket, you know, the skirt wants to go out. Uh, this, uh, this little beauty was sent to me from Romway, so I'll put the link down in the description if you would like one yourself. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's not the world's most expensive jacket. It's rather thin, but again, not the world's most expensive jacket. Have a look, see what you think. Favourite thing number six. This month, obviously my mobility has been a little limited, to say the least. But that's not stopped my hair care. Oh no, except in the ways that it really has, because I'm absolutely exhausted and in pain, so I'm not really doing my hair. So I've felt a bit bad that I haven't been giving my hair as much love as I should, and that it's not looking as great as it normally does. That sounds so terribly conceited, but I do love my hair. But, to give my hair some little added love, I have been using the marvellous, classically vintage, classically wonderful side combs. So easy to use, and they look so great, and you don't have to spend hours putting pins into your hair. Here's a brief little clip in how to put a side comb in. Comb it through your hair to just beyond where you want the comb to sit. Flip over, and push back in. And there we go. So there are my absolute favourite things from this month. Did you like my favourites? What have you thought of the videos we put out this month? What have been your favourites of the last four weeks? And I really hope that you have had an absolutely amazing month. Let me know down below in the comments what the exciting and fabulous things you've been getting up to. I can't believe there's only one more of these to go before Vlogmas. Wow. Where has the year gone? No one knows. I'll see you on Monday. Mwah.